the MPP government under Nana Addo have never been serious with needed commitment to save our lands from illegal mining practices. The utterances of the former Minister of Environment reflecting the true state of the affairs suggests that the chickens have come home to roost. From the mouth of the former Minister of Environment, Dr. Frimpom Watin, mm -hmm. government officials, even from the presidency, are neck deep in polluting our waters, stealing our gold from irresponsible illegals. To quote from him, people in government, including Jubilee House, are involved in Galamse. We have invited you here, ladies and gentlemen, intending to reach the people of Ghana to draw your attention to the painful fact that the president's utterances of commitment to protect our lands from illegal mining, popularly called Galamse, is false. Indeed, the borrowing in addition to borrowing irresponsible to wreck the sanity of our economy, they impudently are also destroying our lands with government officials brazenly taking active part in it. We have reports of key government officials being key Galamsey operators and involved in destroying land at forest reserves in much part of this country. We wish to call on the government on this call to investigate the allegations made by the former Minister of Environment. It is also our expectation that government must desist from joining huge illegal migrants and the, the many unpatriotic Ghanaians from mining illegally on our lands. Today, not much of the land destroyed in the last six years is restored. We know of huge destructive activities happening around. We know of waters, our rivers being destroyed. We know of lands that are dark with chemicals that cannot be consumed and that are very inimical to our lives. And we know that in all this, government itself is deeply involved in the Galamse activity and in the destruction of our land without thinking about reclaiming the land. We are very sad that at this stage of our lives, the government will take the lead amongst other illegals in doing what they are doing. We are doing this press conference to speak the minds of the Ghanaian, ordinary Ghanaian, who wants, apart from everything they have destroyed, his pocket, the economy, with huge borrowing, they are imposing on him a difficulty he will not be able to solve in future, destroying the land he survives on. Ladies and gentlemen, the situation is dire and government must respond. The practice of dumping dangerous waste in our waters and pretending to be protecting our lands is now known to be a falsity. And we we'll call on you to work with us to bring attention to the government and to let them know that we know what they are doing and that we are very dissatisfied with everything that goes to destroy our land and the pretense demonstrated by government itself that they are protecting our lands when the lands are in their hands throughout the country, being sold to them, being destroyed by them all over.